Previously, we reviewed the OPPO R9s and its camera performance has certainly lived up to its claim. Today, we are going to review its bigger brother, the OPPO R9s Plus. Other than the paperwork, what comes with the package includes the VOOC flash charge charging adapter and micro USB cable. OPPO also thoughtfully included a transparent soft case and a factory pre-applied screen protector. The included pair of in-ear earphones is an upgrade from the R9S earpod lookalike earphones. While the build is kind of flimsy, but it sounds okay for a starter earphone. With slightly bass heavy, it certainly suits the taste of general users who prefer noise isolation and punchy lows. The design of the R9S Plus is exactly the same to its sibling. Just that the Plus version had a 6 inch display at the front in comparison to the 5.5 inch of the R9S. Along with thick bezels at the top and bottom, it is difficult to use 100 even though the phone does support 100 operations. The display is a 1080p Full HD AMOLED panel, sufficiently sharp for text displays and great for videos and games. But I can't help but notice that the colors are oversaturated. This problem was not present in the R9S which also uses an AMOLED display. Too bad that Oppo's Color OS currently has yet to support customized color profile. You still get sandblasted metal body with unique 6 string antenna band design. It also comes in two color variants, gold and rose gold. While the sandblasted surface looks great and feels awesome in the hands, it can be extremely slippery, especially for a phone of this size. So please make a good use with the included transparent soft case. The capacitive home button doubles as a fingerprint scanner. Just like the R9S, the fingerprint scanner is lightning fast and accurate. Even a light touch is sufficient for the scanner to pick up your fingerprint for authentication. The navigation buttons are at both sides of the home button. It comes with a rather dim backlit where it works well in the dark but not in the daytime. Then, why are these Android manufacturers still refuse to put the back button at the left side is beyond my understanding. As for the speakers, expect nothing spectacular coming from it due to the downward facing placement and mono channel setup. It is loud and clear enough for speakerphone calls. But for multimedia content, it just doesn't feel right when you're playing games or watching videos in landscape mode. As for the rear camera, the R9S Plus utilizes the same sensor as its sibling. It has the awesome dual face detection autofocus that nails the focus quickly and accurately. What sets them apart is the R9S Plus camera actually equipped with optical image stabilization that reduces the camera shake effect when taking photos, resulting in a steadier shot and sharper image. The camera app itself is simple and straightforward. You get to access to different shooting modes from the app itself with the exception of a few settings that you need to go into OS settings to change, such as the assistant line and shutter sound. Video mode is kind of crippled with the only configuration is the shooting resolution and the rest is up to the app to decide. On the bright side, the app itself is extremely responsive to use. I barely had any delay for each tap on the shutter button. The image quality is great too, with spot on white balance and color reproduction. One thing to mention is that while the sensor is capable of capturing a lot of details, but at the same time, the ISO noise can be noticeably higher. The 16 megapixel front camera is nothing near the performance of the rear camera. The sensor itself is fundamentally different from the rear camera. It works fine in well lit situations. However, it starts to hunt for focus points when the light goes dim. Then the software that runs on the R9S Plus is the Color OS 3.0, based on Android 6 Marshmallow. The overall user experience is almost a clone of the Apple's iOS. There are a couple reasons why ColorOS is built in this way. Fast, smooth, and easy to use. 
The interface is absolutely responsive and snappy. Perfect for those non-techy users because you have less stuff to configure and worry about. Of course, the drawback is you have less control over the phone. For example, you can't customize the quick settings from the pull down menu and you lost the ability to check the actual battery runtime. The core engine of the R9S Plus is the Snapdragon 653 paired with 6 GB of RAM. It is much powerful than the standard R9S Snapdragon 625. Multitasking and gaming on this phone is not really an issue. Just that in terms of performance and battery life, the Plus is not as efficient as the standard R9S. Honestly speaking, if Oppo is trying to look for a higher performance chip, they should have put in the Snapdragon 820 or 821 instead. The R9S Plus is having about the same battery life as the standard R9S. Although it has larger battery at 4000mAh compared to 3000mAh, I don't mean it is bad, but you still can get a day of usage with around 5 hours of screen on time. The charging rate is extremely fast thanks to the Oppo's proprietary fast charge technology, VOOC Flash Charge. Chopping up the battery from 10% to 90% requires only around 60 minutes. On top of that, the fast charge technology also keeps the device cool while charging, prolonging the battery's lifespan. Before we come to conclusion, we have to address one more thing, the price. Oppo Malaysia is officially selling the phone at 2,498 ringgit. That doesn't make a lot of sense even if Malaysia Ringgit is having a rough time. For Snapdragon 653 and 6 inch 1080p display, that is an awful lot of money. So, who should buy this phone? If you want to convert from Apple to Android, Oppo's ColorOS skin will make you feel at home, reducing the challenge of getting started your Android life. If you're looking for a large display tablet, with responsive camera and great image quality, reasonable, good performance and whole day battery life, while well, don't mind paying 2498 ringgit, then the Oppo R9S Plus is your choice. Thank you for watching. Hit the like button and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.